Welcome to the CoolWave Processing Company. We'd like to show you the PurePulse pilot facility. It all started with squeezing the juice. After squeezing and mixing the juice, the mixture is stored in storage vessels, as you can see in this frame. The juice mixture is then transported using a hygienic pump to the heat exchanger. At the heat exchanger, in this case an electrical heat exchanger, the mixture is preheated at the required temperature, in most cases between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius maximum. As you can see, the mixture does reach the target temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and then it's then transported to the pure pulse treatment chamber. The pure pulse system itself does exist of a generator where the electrical uh, energy is being generated and the treatment chamber. The treatment chamber is shown at this specific frame. Due to the highly sophisticated design of the pure pulse treatment chamber, the product is only heated between several degrees Celsius and a maximum 10 degrees Celsius. Hence, after the pure pulse treatment, the product needs to be cooled down only at a very limited uh, matter. Since the product is pasteurized at the Pure Pearls treatment chamber, hence an activation of between 4 and 6 log reduction is occurred, the product needs to be treated in a very hygienic manner after the treatment at the pure pulse generator. As you can see, we need hygienic or even aseptic filling to store the final product, as you can see in these frames, and to maintain a shelf life or obtain a shelf life of at least 30 but uh, sometimes up to 60 days. Due to the very low processing temperatures in the pure pearls treatment chamber, the organoleptical properties to taste of the juice is comparable to a non-treated, non-pasteurized orange juice. If you want to know more, please take a look at our website.